Hi fellas, long time no see, right? It's due to a lot of work I haven't been able to post videos for quite a while now. I'm currently working in the project team of a Swiss company in the UAV sector and therefore got a lot of new challenges to beat. This also gives me the possibility to try some new paths I haven't gone before. For example, I'm currently thinking about ways to improve 3D printed wing structures from lightweight PLA. Foaming filament is still the only way to get a reasonable weight on your 3D printed plane. But we all know this stuff is soft, brittle and it tends to melt in plain sun when printed in dark colors. Now you may say, dude, stop hating, buy a roll of lightweight PLA HT. Yeah, you're probably right. Lightweight PLA HT is much more heat resistant, but it's also much softer than regular lightweight PLA. For this reason, I tried some techniques to get stiffer parts out of lightweight PLA, which last longer. Those are the variants I made specimen for. Regular lightweight PLA with 0.45 walls, lightweight PLA HT with 0.45 walls, lightweight PLA HT with 0.8 walls printed with 0.6 nozzle, lightweight PLA HT coated with some regular packing tape, lightweight PLA reinforced with filament tape, and last but not least, lightweight PLA HT with two coats of Syn 2K epoxy resin. Here you can see the comparison between regular lightweight PLA and lightweight PLA HT. Weight is nearly the same, but you can see traditional lightweight PLA is much stiffer. Let's see how the lightweight PLA HT printed with 0.6 nozzle and 0.8 mm out wall performs. As you may have guessed, it's much heavier, actually it's a true brick, but it delivers the most resistance. It's even too much load for the load cell to measure and, and stops at 6700 grams. Too bad it's by far the heaviest of all specimen with almost double the weight of the lightest ones. Here are the taped specimen. I covered them with regular packing tape versus fiber reinforced filament tape. There is quite some difference in weight. The one with the reinforced tape is the heaviest one after the 0.6 brick we tested before, whilst the regular taped one is only about 2 gram heavier than the uncoated segments. But you can also see that there is a significant strength increase. Regular lightweight PLA HT had 3100 26 grams at 10 millimeters. With the regular packing tape, it's 4115 grams, which means an increase of approximately 25%. Not bad for only 2 gram additional weight and a super cheap price, right? I guess it would perform even better if there was some kind of glue underneath it to get it to stick to the surface of the lightweight PLA better. The fiber taped wing has pretty high resistance, but looking at the super high weight is maybe more of a solution for situations where weight doesn't matter that much. However, it sticks very well to the wing. Now let's have a look at the resin coated wing. I simply sanded the lightweight PLA HT wing down a bit with some 250 grit and then gave it two layers of syn epoxy. I think if you put a bit more effort and some filler on it, you could even get an extremely beautiful finish, reminding of regular composite airplanes. So after curing I realized a weight increase of approximately 4 grams on this specimen, which is not ultra light, but still not bad. However, the resistance increase is enormous. It can now take nearly double the load of the untreated lightweight PLA HT specimen. The downside is that once the structure is overload, it collapses immediately and shatters right away. Conclusion. So what did we learn today? First, 0.6 can be used, but only if weight doesn't matter. Second, untreated lightweight PLA HT is way softer than regular lightweight PLA. Third, you want a cheap possibility to increase the strength of your lightweight PLA parts? Cover it with regular packing tape, but make sure it sticks well. Four, if you want to give your parts a beautiful glossy surface and a lot of additional stiffness for the sacrifice of a few grams and mixing some resin, then sand and coat it with epoxy and tell your friends it's a carbon plane. If you did it right, nobody will notice. 
I hope you could take something out of this video and maybe you're now willing to try one or the other technique. If you're searching for a plane to apply them on, we recently dropped this sweet retro racer from Lightweight PLA. You can get it in our website, link in the description. Stay tuned for more 3D printed stuff and as always, guten Flug!